Well, the United States could be in for a rough flu season this winter. Epidemiologists are making that forecast now after Australia, which serves as a predictor for the northern hemisphere, saw its worst flu season in five years. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie spoke with a pharmacy manager at CVS, and she joins us now live in studio. And Alex, I understand that retail pharmacies, even though it's only September, have already started administering the flu shots? Yeah, Kim, not only these flu shots, but the updated bivalent COVID-19 booster shots as well. The CDC says it's still safe to get both of those shots at the same time. Just last week, Dr. Anthony Fauci said it's likely the United States is moving towards a path where we'll see an annual updated COVID-19 shot matching the circulating strains like we do for the flu. However, some particularly vulnerable groups may continue to need more frequent vaccination against COVID-19. Retail pharmacies started offering appointments for both flu and COVID-19 vaccines last week. You can either get one in each arm or you just have to separate it by, by about an inch on the same arm. Walgreens allows you to book separate appointments for family members and CVS allows you to book group appointments at the same time. Both retail pharmacies are urging patients to schedule those through their respective websites or mobile apps. Katie Pouliot, a pharmacy manager at CVS in Cranston, notes it takes two weeks to build immunity post-shot. It's best to get the flu vaccine early in fall, um, especially by the end of October. While Pfizer's updated COVID booster is only for those 12 and older and Moderna's is for those 18 and older, flu shots are recommended for anyone six months and older, and forecasts show the U.S. could be in for higher influenza rates this year. We have seen in the southern hemisphere, we are expecting it'll be um, more severe than it has been over the past four years. According to the Rhode Island Department of Health, like the rest of the country, flu vaccination rates were down in Rhode Island last year at 42 percent. The DOH says it's hoping to boost those numbers up to at least 60 percent this year. The Department of Health also tells me it's going to start running public flu clinics in October, and a spokesperson adds that vaccination will be important this flu season, given the ebbs and flows that we've seen with COVID. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.